children, our prized heritage, the future of our nation. The rights of our children are enshrined in the Constitution of India, supported by laws. But these laws are difficult to enforce. With grinding poverty taking its toll, leading to neglect, abuse and exploitation of children. Children have the right to their childhood, to carefree enjoyment, laughter and joy. For children from the weaker sections of society, that laughter is choked early, forced by economic necessity to work, entering vocations unsuited to their age or strength. Children have the right to opportunities and facilities, the right to tender loving care in conditions of freedom and dignity. Opportunities and facilities that are a distant dream for many. For children living amidst filth and squalor, packed like cattle into cramped living conditions. No room to develop or grow. There is the right to free education, guaranteed by the state for children up to the age of 14. A right that is grossly violated due to socio-economic needs. Leading to pitiable conditions of existence. Where children's rights to medical justice, rehabilitation justice and compensatory justice are forgotten, ignored and lost in the dark. At an age when they should be playing with dolls and dreaming of a happy future, they are ill-treated and made to work long hours, often falling prey to evil intentions and forcibly deprived of their childhood. The girl child is specially vulnerable as she is left behind the male child in every way. She can only look on with despair to a future that is lonely and isolated. Children below 12 years are not held criminally responsible for their acts. Yet, boys below 16 and girls below 18 are treated as juvenile offenders. Their right to privacy entitles them to in-camera trials, a right that must be given to children everywhere. Delinquents cannot be sentenced to imprisonment. Rather, they are sent to special homes, taught to become model citizens. Under the Child Marriage Act, it is against the law for a male below 21 and a girl below 18 to get married. And yet, in rural India, this practice is common, fueled by blind belief and social convention. Economic necessity also leads to gross injustice. To young and innocent children, helpless victims, held ransom by old age and the horror of early widowhood. Across the country, poverty plays villain, leading to exploitation of children. Blatant violations of the Child Labour Prohibition and Regulation Act. Apprentices engaged who are not yet 14 years old. Even full-time workers who have not yet achieved that age. Despite the right of non-discrimination for street children, 
children of sex workers, children belonging to socially and economically backward communities, they are left to lie on the streets. The Prevention of Disabilities Act provides facilities for children with disabilities. Their rights include education and recreation, to explore their potential in every field. Much more needs to be done. These talented children can truly develop, becoming a joy to society. Herded like sheep and cattle, children are still being used as bonded labor in gross disregard of their rights to personal liberty, bodily integrity and privacy. Slaving for generations, hopelessly working to repay the debts of their forefathers. Although the picture is grim, all is not lost. The government has declared its commitment to every child. International support has come from the United Nations. There is a movement at the grassroots level of Gram Panchayats ensuring children get their rights. A beginning has been made. People have joined hands to make a success of the efforts with love care and attention. Education facilities. Training in the fine arts. Training to find the right vocation. Preparing to become model adults. Self-reliant and independent contributing to the society they live in. Srimati Shanta Sinha of NV Foundation, Sikandarabha. They are not in schools, they don't have a right to education, they have no access to health, they are not allowed to play, they have never seen singing and dancing, they are totally subject to violence in many occasions. In my opinion, the only institution that can guarantee children their rights is the school. Schools are the only institution that can prevent children from risks and vulnerabilities. Schools are the only institution that can ensure that every child has childhood. It is only a people's movement that will help us overcome. As the dawn of a new tomorrow comes upon us, it is time to give children their rightful place.